What's going on, Pokemon people? Welcome to the first episode of Poke Wars. We will not be warring today. We will actually be doing a deck tutorial, deck building tutorial. Uh, we are going to be setting up a grass deck, a water deck, and a fire deck. We're going to go over a very standard, original style of building a deck so we can have more interesting games. Maybe we'll go over EXGX decks if you guys want to. I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of comments in the comment sections of all of our, uh, all of our wars saying, why are you guys using EX GX cards? You got more power. Powerful. It's not interesting when that happens. Nope. Unless you got a mimic you up there. That shit really f the day. So we came across a nice stack of Pokemon cards. Very nice stack of Pokemon cards. Just like every f stack of Pokemon cards, it's a nice one. Uh, unless they're like PSA halves. Pokey Wars, like it. Pokey Wars down wherever it says the channel name. We'll probably have a logo down over down there, there yeah. somewhere. I don't know where the bottom corner of the camera is. Somewhere in this area. I'm just reaching all over there. Pokey. We got Pokey Wars down there in the corner. Uh, you know what it is? Blue and yellow, blue and yellow. Today we're going to be setting up a grass deck, a water deck, and a fire deck. They're technically the big three Pokemon. We have Venusaur, Blastoise, and Char Charizard. We figured Charizard. it out. Charizard. Yeah, it's Charizard. 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 Half an eye. Winking eye. So you guys want to stay tuned for all three of these deck tutorials. Uh, they're going to be very simple, but they are all definitely built differently. But they're built to the best of their abilities so that they will be all OP, I guess. They'll all be fire decks. They're even all going to be fire decks. Even the, even the water deck and the grass deck, they're going to be fire decks. We obviously wanted to have the strongest decks possible um, in every all the decks that we build. And we also wanted to piece together these, these pretty badass decks. We want to build them to where they compete against each other. We do have a couple... Um, Theories about uh, some of the decks that are built out of newer Pokemon. Um, but basically, if we were able to build a deck for a type out of the original 150, that's what we did. There were three types, four types. There were four decks that we were unable to build an entire deck out of the original 150. So the only decks that we built that have Pokemon outside of the the first generation are the dark deck the steel steel deck fairy fairy deck and the ghost deck we also we were we allowed um evolutions of the first generation pokemon so the magmar and magmortar and the Electabuzz and Electrovire. And then all the Eevees. And then all the ev Eevee evolutions. We remember Pokemon when, from when we were kids. Um, and it really sparked our interest more so to be playing with the cards that we remember. Instead of having to learn, what, another 750 Pokemon. Because um, there's about 900 Pokemon now. Uh, 850 Pokemon, something around there. I don't know. I'm sure you guys will grill us. So for many, not knowing the how much below. Yeah. Give me the exact number. Pokemon. How many generations deep are we? Eight? <laughs> That's I don't even want to get into that. We also expanded into um different what are they? Territories of Pokemon? Oh yeah. So um Alolans, um Whatever the other one is, there's only two. Galarians. Yeah. Alolans and Galarians. Yeah, Galarians and Alolans. We did some expanding into the new Pokemon era, um, but only to enhance our decks of Pokemon that we couldn't either couldn't build full decks of or just to have a little bit more of a variety to choose from in our decks. So here we have, we have a Venusaur deck, we have a Charizard deck, and we have a Blastoise deck, and we gotta make sure that we're staying with us throughout the entire video because as you will see, they are all different in their own way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start over here with the Blastoise deck. So we're gonna go um, least complicated to most complicated. These decks do not have EVs in them, EVs or their evolutions. Um, 
we did that because we wanted to build these decks strictly from their type. Um, and then we can go in and we can substitute an Eevee, two Eevees and a Vaporeon, two Eevees and a Leafeon for one of the other evolutions we have going on in the deck. We do have two water decks. Um, we took Blastoise and we created a deck with Blastoise and then we took Polyrath and we built a deck with Polyrath. We are obviously choosing to do the tutorial with the Blastoise deck. Um, one of the big three, one of the main three uh, Pokemon that are recognizable to basically anybody that's ever like been any kind of into Pokemon. You guys know the big three, Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise. So that's what we're going to do this tutorial out of. So first off, we're going to start with the Blastoise. We only have one Blastoise in this deck. Um, he's got a pretty dope ability. Uh, he runs uh, the top six cards of the deck once per turn, pulls any energy out, and gets to put those energies on any Pokemon in play, however you like to. Uh, so we do have the Blastoise right there. We're going to lay out the Blastoise, and then, you know, we have to make sure we're able to get to the Blastoise. So we have two War Turtles. So we're going to put our War Turtles here. Okay, and then we got to get to our war turtle, you know, so we got to have our squirtles. And then we have one more squirtle. We are using mostly newer versions of these cards. We do have quite a few originals, but with using the dark deck, the fairy deck, the um, ghost deck, a lot of the other decks that we're running, the newer Pokemon cards, the newer cards are a lot more powerful than the originals. Uh, so if we were to run all original cards from the first generation, they just would not compete against a steel deck, metal deck, whatever that is. Um, metal. Oh, we call it steel a bunch yeah, of times. Yeah, call time. it steel a bunch of times. So we're calling them steel. That's the Whatever. Steel deck. You guys will figure out. Uh, that up. If I say metal a bunch of times, metal, metal. You say no. metal a couple times. No. Cut that in. Metal. Steal. One more time. Stealing it. All right. So we have our Blastoise. Um, some people will run three of the basics. Um, I think that we we run 2-2-1, two, two, and that should... We shouldn't have a problem getting to the Blastoise. You can ask Scott. He never has a problem getting to the Blastoise. Never have a problem getting to the Blastoise. Um and that also depends a lot on our trainers that we're running, and we'll go over that in a little bit. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to slide that up and over, right there. That's going to be what we're starting the deck off with, the main, main dude, big the dude. Main big, main big dude, uh, our stage two. And then we're going to come in with uh, Slowbro and Slowking. They're both stage ones. Um... Slowbro is from the original 150. Slowking is not, but once again, we said we are using any Pokemon that um, evolved from the original 150. So Slowking is uh, definitely an option. We got them good attacks, three strikes, a little bit newer cards, you know, with, with the hollows and reverse hollows. So we're gonna bring those right here. We have Slowbro, Slowking, and then we gotta be able to get to them. So we're going to have three slow pokes. Let me get those in the frame. We've got slow pokes right here. So we're going to drop those right below our slow bro and our slow king. This is going to be the second set of evolution for our water deck. Blastoise in particular. We're going to go ahead and we're going to slide that up next to our Blastoise. Damn. We will be going more in depth in each of these decks. We will have a deck building tutorial for every type. Uh, so if you want to build a deck that is not one of these three types, we will be putting out deck building tutorials for every deck type. Right now we're just trying to get a, a basic overview of how many Pokemon, how many stage two, uh, evolutions we want to run those kind of things going on with um, 
moving into the Galarians. Galarian and Alolan Pokemon. Um, this one really f***ed me up. I had to go with the Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme. That's what I'm talking about. And we got that in a dope reverse hollow. Oh, we're going to go ahead and set Mr. Rhyme right here. <sighs> got to get to the Mr. Rhyme somehow. So we're, we got two Galarian Mr. Mimes. Uh, you might know Mr. Mime as a fairy type. Possibly psych, psych type. type. I think... I think I think there's fairy and psych Yeah, mimes. fairy and psych He's Mr. Mimes. He's all over the place now. Um, so, but with the Galarians are water type. Um, ice. Ice type, Technically. but they're water energy. I don't know. Yeah, that part. Yeah, it's confusing to me, too. We didn't f*** with a, a solely ice type deck, so... No. Well, it's all water energy, so, like... I mean, but you mean... I don't know if there's enough ice types to make a whole deck out of that. Because it was that Articuno, Galarian Mime, Galarian Sandshore, Sand Slash, uh, Galarian Vulpix. Um, That's ice? Yeah. Yeah. What else is their ice type, though? What else is their ice type? I'm not sure. Um, uh, e e the Eevee, the, Eevee the, the, the Glaceon. Glaceon. Um, and I'm sure there's, like, new school. Yeah. Our Galarian Mr. Mimes and Mr. Rhyme. We're going to go ahead and slow, throw that up again, up next to our slow pokes and slow bros and slow king. So that's going to be our third evolution of Pokemans. All right, and then <laughs> Scotty doesn't like this one. My least favorite card. One of the, one of the well, least I favorite mean, cards. Blast well, is up there. So, too. um... There are only cards you don't like if if you're not playing the deck. <laughs> if if this is your deck that you're playing against somebody with, um, I think you're 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 pretty you're pretty good. You're 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 chilling on what you got here. As we say that, I'll show you the gold duck. Love the gold duck. I tried to look for this in a hollow or reverse hollow, couldn't find it. I guess this is a pretty rare. Um, Semi rare gold duck. Um, so we'll put that down, and obviously, we all know him. Dude that confuses the shit out just about everybody Including and himself. himself. Yeah, <laughs> especially himself. So, like, I think it's like, um, you're, 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 this Pokemon is confused. Flip a coin if Ed's your opponent's Pokemon is also confused. <laughs> The opposite of everyone else's deck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're definitely confused. You're Your opponent may might be. be confused. So we went with a two different um, Psyducks. And uh, let me put that. That's that's like special, special. So we're going to come down here. We're going to put our Psyducks down next to our Gold Duck. We have our fourth evolution of Pokemon right here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to slide that up next to the Mr. Rhyme, Mr. Mine, all of them, all the Misters. All right, and we will get you guys a view of the entire setup once we have this laid out. All right. Well, Scott's favorite. One of Scott's favorites. <laughs> uh, in case Golduck wasn't favored enough. Cold or Blastoise, <laughs> too. Yeah, if Blastoise and Golduck weren't <laughs> up enough. Um, that was a wall there, hey? I oh. actually prefer this Gyarados um, more than the other. Uh, we will be showing you guys the other Gyarados in the Polyrath um, deck building tutorial. But we're running this Gyarados right here. Uh, the other Gyarados does damage to its own bench when it's attacked. So, um, yeah, it's got more hit points. The damage is a, uh, the damage can be more. Um, but also, um, we'll go over a little bit why why this one is a. I believe this is a better card. The other one has a, an ability and one attack. This has two attacks. Um, so this is not susceptible to amnesia. I mean, as it is. It is. But, you're not gonna... but it depends on, like, say you have two energies on there. 
and you get amnesia and you cannot use Berserker Splash. If you can't use Berserker Splash, your next move, you have two energies, that's your three energy move, you can't put an energy on there and use that attack. I mean, unless um, you have Blastoise over there on your bench. Unless you have Blastoise over there on your bench and you pull like five... <laughs> or an aqua patch. Yay. Yeah, so there, when we the water get decks mean. The water decks mean. Uh, switch rafts and aqua patches. Um, there are, yeah, plenty of, there, well, there are some trainer cards that you play specifically with our water, with your water deck. And um, it does give you a little bit of an advantage. But I believe that there are, um, there are trainers for just about every type that do that are beneficial to that type. Uh, you just have to really go through that and find those. Um, so we're gonna go ahead right here. We all know what's coming after the Gyarados. It's crazy, you have this little piece of shit fish called a Magikarp, right? Look at this thing. It looks like a little bitch. It's got 30 hit points. That shit like dies really quick. This one's cool because it's submerged on the bench. So it does not take damage while it's on the bench, um, which is nice when you're going up against a whole well, lot of the decks because um, electric decks hit the bench, uh, fire, decks. fire decks hit the bench, psych decks, psych decks especially the ghost deck. <laughs> so Scotty really doesn't like that magic harp. Um, we're going to go ahead. We're running two magic harps in the Gyarados. Um, one of the magic harps the attack goes basically goes and gets your Gyarados. Uh, the other one does the same, but you have to flip a coin for it, uh, and you have to um, get it from your discard pile. So that one only works coming from the discard. This one works only coming from the deck. Um, so basically you have a way of going to get your Gyarados. If you get your Magic Harps in order, you can go get your Gyarados with one, when your Gyarados dies, you have your second magic card. You can flip to go get your, you get your Gyarados out of your discard pile. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to throw this up here. So now we're going to run, go into our basics, our high-level basics. So a nice Pokemon. Um, Lapras. I mean, I'm sure we're going to mispronounce names of some of these. And I'm also sure you guys are going to let us know about it because uh, that's how YouTube works is uh, even if you know what you're talking about, somebody's going to tell you you don't know what you're talking about. Yep. That's just the way it works. Um, but we also don't know what we're talking about. So, so that, that too. Um, we know how to play Pokemon decently. With each other. Um, I don't know if we could play against those ones. Yeah, I don't know. You got Y'all be using them EX, GX decks. But let us know if you think you could take, take, uh, take out a non-EX, GX deck with an EX, GX deck. Um... I don't think so. I think that a non-EX GX deck will beat a EX GX deck. Personal opinion, changed my mind. So we got our Hydro Pump, our Aqua Bullet for our high level basic Lapras. I'm going to set that down. Pull that over here. And then we have a, just a beautiful card right here. You guys can see that maybe in the top corner of your screen. Not yet. Can't see it from there. But uh, this is a legendary bird. I'm pretty sure you guys can figure out who we're talking about. Um, pause the video. If you know the legendary bird we're talking about, go down and comment down below what you think it's going to be. I'm sure you know what it's going to be because y'all are the Pokemon people. We're not Pokemon people. We're just, we're just guys playing Pokemon um, but once you're done with that you come back and you can see that we are rocking the bad ass Articuno holographic card gotta have our two high level basics in there uh, just sometimes it buys you a couple turns sometimes it f***s up your whole opponent's deck you know depends um but yeah, depends. they're definitely useful um you get them nice off the draw 
this one does run quite a bit of energies but uh, I like it so we're gonna run the Articuno right here so this is gonna be our the Pokemon for our water deck we're running 21 Pokemon we will be running 20 energies in every deck we will not be changing that that's just the way it is um, we got the Pokemon Stadium box and the way that those those are they do run a GX card in them um, so they're set up a little bit differently a little bit more new school uh, and they're running 18 energies so we figured we run 20 energies we should be fly like that might be saying a little bit of a um, well, why aren't we running Kangaskhan's, no Snorlaxes? Uh, once again, we the decks that we're building here, these are going to be purely their type. Um, so they are obviously interchangeable. We can pull out Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Mimes, we could throw our um, Eevees and our... Um, Vaporeon in there we can pull out Lapras or Articuno put a Kangaskhan or a Snorlax in there um, that's just per personal preference um, eventually throughout uh, throughout all of the wars we will be changing them up just a little bit as we go make them a little bit different for you guys to watch a little bit different for us to play um, just to keep the entertainment value up because um, we don't want to see the same decks up against each other every time um, That's why we want to have a variety of different decks. We're running uh, three psych decks We're running a Nido Queen Nido King deck. We're running a Crobat deck and we're running an all ghost deck so um, We just wanted to get a, a, a very wide variety of decks that we can play against each other for your entertainment and ours um, so this is our water deck, one of our water decks for our Blastoise. So let's clear these up. We're at 35 minutes. We probably got a probably got 15 minutes of footage right there. If that. If that. We we definitely screwed around quite a bit. We definitely got that out the way. Well, didn't didn't get that out the way. We got plenty of that still to come. We got years of that to don't, come. Definitely don't come here if you don't want to see a screw around. Mm -mm. That's the next guy. Next channel. Not yeah. us. You want to see someone who's all serious and never touches Pokemon cards, just puts them in a gem case and hangs them on a wall? Yeah. Don't come here. Um, if you want to see, like, uh, people show off their Pokemon collections um, that they never play with and open packs of cards that they're also never going to play with, different channel. Go find them. Uh, that's not what you're gonna find here. You're gonna find anywhere from lightly played to heavily played cards Because um, they do the same <laughs> shit as the in PSA 10s they do the same thing, but you have fun with these ones So what fire deck is a fire deck without the fireest fiery Pokemon like ever? Uh, you got to hit them with the Charizard Um even more so than just hitting them with a Charizard. You got to hit them with two Charizards. Uh, that's just, that's how this one, this one played out. Um, we would have, if we had to choose between the two, we would um, probably hit them with the Roaring Resolve and Continuous Blaze Ball. But... We're also messing with the, the fiery blast. Um, just it, it seemed like the right move to make this deck as um, powerful as possible. Once again, we want to keep competition between all the decks. Um, and this was our best chance of doing that. So we are running two Charizards. Right? Got two Charizards going on there. Um, we got to get to our Charizards, so we're running three Charmeleons, so we'll go one Charmeleon, two Charmeleon, and three Charmeleon, okay, 
and then obviously to go get our Charmeleons. If you're new to Pokemon and you don't know uh, what's coming out, what evolves from what, that's all right. Um, we remember this from the 90s. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you guys will know new Pokemon and evolutions of new Pokemon that we don't know. That's fine. We'll learn from you guys. You'll learn from us. Community stuff, you know? Building decks. Building decks. Um, I think we get we got four Charmanders. Yeah, we're rocking four Charmanders here. So um, we went when we have the one Blastoise. We went with two War Turtles, two Squirtles. Um, but since we have two Charizards, we want to have once we get to one Charizard, if that gets taken out, we want to make sure that we still have the basic in stage one. Um, we still have plenty of those in the deck to get to our second Charizard. And also, um, we might actually be looking to run a Charmeleon, just the way it is. So we'll be able to run two Charizards and a Charmeleon this way. If that's the way the draw just... Um, happens to be played for us so we are going to take this nice little tower of pokemon and we're going to slide that up here <clears throat> all right so we have what is that that's nine nine pokemon knocked out right there and having two charizards um kind of like we had the um slow bro and slow king set up uh with Two slow or one slow bro, one slow king, and then two slow pokes. We are running two nine tails. Make sure we're still recording. We're still recording. We got two nine tails going on here. Um, it was just powerful Pokemon. If we're gonna have the basics in there, if we ran just one of them, we could run one other high level basic. Um, but nine tails is just such a beautiful Pokemon, man. Get that thing they're gorgeous and they're powerful too um, so it's definitely not not going to uh, hinder your play running two nine tails and then um, like we said we're running um, two nine tails and two Vulpixes so we can get out out there to our nine tails uh, and that's gonna look just like that looking good down there looking good up there checking that out all right, so we're gonna slide these up. All right, this boy, love this boy, girl. They have like um, a chart that tells you like percentage wise of how many are male, how many are female. Um, it's cool, you got like like database stuff. If you're interested in knowing, um, I, the only, is it the only, only Pokemon that are true to their gender is N Nidorans, need and Nidorinas, uh, no. Nidorans, there's other ones, there's Nidorinas. other, other Pokémon that are 100% male and 100% female. Yeah. Okay. So there are other Pokémon that that are either male or female. Um, Gen one, it's only going to be Nidoran, Nidorino, and Nido, the, the Nidos. The Nidos. Those things are Nido. We're focused on the fire deck, fire deck only right now. Uh, so if you're looking up there, you kind of know what we're what we're building with the 152 fire deck you got you got to you got to know this was coming you got you you had to have known that this was coming um just can't do it without it uh, the arcanine this is a remastered version of the original card so it does have the original tag original hp um just remastered version which it was an OP card anyways uh, back in the day so um, we had no problem running this in our deck here so we got our Arcanine and we got to go get our Arcanine somehow so we are running two Growlithes Growlithes okay slide this up here ready to go so what do we have now we have nine 13, we're at 16 Pokemon. 
Ooh, oh, this is a good one. I like this. So um, we were telling you we were going with the Alolans and Galarians. You saw our uh, Mr. Rhyme up there. We we we, we were messing with it. Um, Scott, that's a bad Pokemon right there. That guy. This guy's cool. Um, he's powerful, high hit points. You know, evolves from one of the dopest Pokemon I think there is. Um, Definitely the loneliest Pokemon there is. Yeah, the loneliest. And if you didn't get it from that, you are not a Pokemon fan. Are there a new Pokemon fan? You can be a fan of okay. Pokemon. Yeah, we can they all, are a we 90s can all, Pokemon. Yeah, right definitely there. not a 90s If you don't Pokemon know fan. who the loneliest Pokemon is. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, so we went into a fire type of this. It is usually a fighting type. Um, actually, the... Um, basic of this is going to be a fighting type but they run co he he or she runs uh colorless so it makes it really simple to run the colorless basic in uh the fire deck when we are running the fire alolan marowak look at that thing all right can we get some of the hollow in there ah oh, it's too much light Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Look at that hollow, guys. That's gorgeous. Um, and then also the the Psyche Alolan Psych Marowak also has a very similar, really, really, really awesome holographic. Um, and then the loneliest Pokemon. We're running two Cubones. Uh, once again, they're colorless, so... Uh, we're not gonna have a problem with having to run a fire, run, having to run fighting um, energies. That's gonna be our last evolution Pokemon. I'm gonna slide that over to the side. Now we're gonna run two basics. Um, legendary bird again. Um, this time we're running two of them. Um, I'm sure. You guys have, like, why didn't you run a Rabidash? Rabidash is, like, my favorite. Well, Ponyta could suck it. You can't say yeah, that? I can say that. <laughs> okay. I would say if you wanted to run Rapidash, it'd be instead of Arcanine, I'd rather have Arc Arcanine. Fact. Arcanine. Or Arcanine. How, do you, how do you say it? Arcanine. Arcanine, Arcanine or Arcanine? Because he's a canine. It's a canine, but... Arcan Comment Arcanine. down below. How do you pronounce it? Arcanine. I don't know. One of the two. Definitely one of the two. I'm sure it's in the show. Let's go back, watch the show, and we'll figure it out. And we're going to show you guys. We're running the Moltres along with a second Moltres. Um, that's just... That's the way it had to be. Building the deck. We can always, um, when we get into a little bit more into the deck building... We can substitute one, one of those for a Snorlax Kangaskhan. We went ahead and we bought a bunch of Snorlaxes and Kangaskhans. I believe we have like 30 Kangaskhans. <laughs> we have too many Kangaskhans because we had to get like everything in hollow and reverse hollow. But how many do they have? I'm all not, of them. I'm, I'm not, all of them. I'm, they were 30 cents a piece, bro. Like, what? Yeah, of course. I'm spending getting... three dollars on these cards is a thirty cents piece. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Not that big of a deal. I mean, until you do that for every Pokemon, and then that turns yeah. into a big old deal. Pretty big deal. <laughs> um, so we're gonna see all those in... deck boxes back there. Pretty big deal. <laughs> and we need more. We need five more deck boxes. We have twelve deck boxes. We are look. We, we're gonna be getting you five stacks more of Pokemon cards over there. <laughs> They will be in a box. We are we are in the process of sleeving every card that we have. Um, and those stacks of Pokemon cards over there too. No, yeah, those are sleeved. Most of those are sleeved. Yeah, no, most of them are those sleeved. are sleeved. Yeah, we got these stacks. <laughs> those stacks. those stacks. The boxes, boxes are filled. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're the stacks. We're are down deep. Here. We're deep <laughs> with Pokemon guys. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's there's tons oh, of people that have more on. cards than we do. Um, but we seem to be the only ones actually playing with the up. <laughs> yeah, why isn't anyone playing with them anymore? Yeah, these guys, they... Play they, with your cards. They, they, you buy the packs to hope for a gem mint, basically. 
And at that point, like all you're hoping for is a card that has perfect corners and perfect centering because you're going to get it straight out of the package. So it's not going to have damage to the surfaces. Um, most and likely. it's most likely. Um, and also it's most likely not going to have damage done to the edges. So um, you usually don't pull a card out of a pack with whiting already around the edges. You might have little tiny specks somewhere, but then that might bring you down to like a Beckett 9.5. Um, but that doesn't matter here. Uh, we don't we don't buy this. We don't get this stuff to uh, put it in a hard case and look at it. We want entertainment from there, from these cards, um, and we want to give you guys something entertaining to watch that's going to be we will be uh, adjusting this accordingly when we play with them might pull out a Moltres throw in like a, like we said probably Kangaskhan's Kangaskhan's seem to be more powerful a little bit less hit points but usually a whole lot more powerful yeah. than a Snorlax and the Snorlax usually runs a lot of energy a lot of, a lot of energies you got four or five energies that you got to put on a Snorlax to uh, for that to be effective um, so that would be really dank in the, um, in the water deck when you got the Blastoise out. <laughs> you got the Blastoise out, you drop a Snorlax on the bench. <laughs> That's game. <clears throat> oh, guys, um, go check out Riker. R-Y-K-E-R. -E Riker card sleeves. They're nice. They, they slide really well. They, uh, shuffle really well. Um... And then they uh, they don't rip very easily. They're um, they're really Pretty strong. Yeah. Decent, yeah, decent thickness. They're um, they are pretty equivalent to dragon sleeves. Um, Just, um, they're not. They're not going to be colors. colors. They're not going to be colored. Um, and then also, they are not cut perfectly. Dragon sleeves have been doing it for a really long time, so they're. Yeah. Um, Riker's fairly new to the game. Yeah. Uh, from what I've heard, they're coming out with colors soon, but currently you can get black or clear. Black bags. and clear. Um, which also we enjoy looking when we set up the the um, the games. We like looking at that Pokemon. You know, you got your one, two, you know, like that. You got your prize cards all set up, and it looks it looks dope to have the Pokemon the back side of the card um, showing. It also makes it easier for when we're putting energies in and out and um, trainers in and out of the decks that they're just all in clear Riker sleeves. So it makes it really simple. So uh, last of our big three, this is gonna be the most complicated deck for the this tutorial. Um, but yeah, we're let's running- Let's say interesting more than complicated. It's an interesting build. Yeah. Um, um, and then, yeah, basically, it's, it's yeah, interesting. It's not quite as straightforward. No. Um, um, and that's, we'll, we'll see why right now. And we'll go over that a little bit. But we do. We have the Venusaur. Pokemon number 003. Dope, dope, dope looking Venusaur. Like it. You got the Jungle Totem. Every energy. Every grass energy attached to your Pokemon counts as two grass energies, which I don't even know that. That's heavy. That's yeah. really heavy to be. That's that's, that's like on almost on Blastoise level. I that's say pretty close. Yeah, pretty damn close. Because I yeah. mean, unless you're just not pulling energies at all from your deck, you're really well off there. But I mean, so this that means that the retreat cost is only two. Yeah, and the attack only takes two. Two, yeah. Because we're running a grass deck most of the time when we run deck, we're running that deck straight by itself unless we're running the uh, Mag Mortar, Electrovire deck, um, EV decks. Um, that's, those are basically the decks that we're going to be running multiple types. Yeah. Um, everything else is pretty much going to stay within its type. Uh, Makes gameplay a lot simpler. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, obviously, we got to get to our Venusaur somehow. So we have Pokemon number 002. And we got two of them. We have two Ivysaurs, Ivysaurs, whatever. Ivysaur. Who the hell even? Ivysaur. That one we can pretty clearly say. Nobody pronounced it Ivysaur. If you pronounce it Ivysaur, leave a comment down below. You're wrong. I'm colorblind, okay? 
does that have anything to do with Exactly. Exactly. It doesn't have nothing to do with nothing. So right, they're going to comment down below and we're going to tell them they're wrong. But I doubt anyone will comment that below because there ain't no one say Ivasaur. And then um, the number one Pokemon of all time. <laughs> Always, will always be the number one. Po- no number one will <laughs> knock this Pokemon down no, from number one this spot. This is the number one Pokemon of all time. Come on, say it with me. We know it's coming, and it's the Bulbasaur. Got the Bulbasaur coming in number one. We're gonna throw those down. I'm gonna. All right, so we throw our Venusaur, Ivysaurs, and our Bulbasaurs up there, the top, and we're coming in. With what makes this a little bit more unique, we got the bee drills. But we take this bee drill, and if we come in real close, like, and we make sure that this is focused. Is this focused? I don't think it's. A, I don't think it focuses I'm very pretty well. Pretty sure it's a fixed focal length. Yeah, it's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll read it for you guys. This attack does 40 damage times the number of bee drill you have in play. To one of your opponent's Pokemon. So it does 50 damage or 40 damage times the amount of Beedrills. So basically, if you think about that, if you only have one Beedrill in your deck, why run Beedrill? Right? It's kind of. Basically, doesn't make sense. It's kind of weak Pokemon if you. If you're only running one. So you got, you know, Swarming Sting. You need m- multiple Beedrills. So here we are running one Beedrill. Two Beedrills. Right? Three Beedrills. Three Beedrills with the same attack. So um, even when you get down to the last Beedrill, the last of these Beedrills, and you have one more Beedrill left, that Beedrill is going to be doing 80 damage. So it's still not the worst of the Beedrills. And then if you have your Venusaur already out, these all only one run one energy. Uh, so it's real nice to easily power them up. And then as long as you save this Beedrill for last, you have 90 damage uh, you're working with with your last Beedrill because it's not going to have the Swarming Sting or... If you want to run a deck without like tons of Beedrills, um, just run, just run a Beedrill similar to this. Um, maybe not that exact Beedrill, but I'm sure you guys can figure out what, I'm, what the approach with that. Um, since we're running so many Beedrills, um, we obviously need quite a few uh, Weedles and Kakunas running a bunch of them. Uh, let's see. I don't know how many we have. We have one, two, three, four, four Kakunas. Um, we're running four Kakunas and four Beedrills. You might say, well, what if a Kakuna dies? Um, you want to make sure you're going to be still be able to get to your last, your other Beedrills. Um, that's going to come heavy in our, uh, trainer choices. Um, we will be running rare candies. You know that you can run, you can evolve straight to a stage two from a basic Pokemon. So you'll probably be running three rare candies in this deck. I would guess three three rare candies. So you run three, you're for sure gonna pull you're at least pull one, one yeah. during gameplay. And um, hopefully two, and we're f-ing with that too. Um, and then we gotta have a bunch of Weedles because, well, you know. Obviously. Obviously. Uh, so we're running five Weedles. One, two, three, four, and five. Um, we got our bunch of Weedles, we got our bunch of Kakunas, and we got our bunch of Beedrills. This is what makes the deck a little bit more interesting than the others, um, is because we're running such a... Ma- just It's going to be so concentrated with Beedrills that... Um, we're not going to be running much else, but like we said, if you run one Beedrill, then you might as well run like four or five Beedrills. It's just, they work together. Uh, the same as the Magmortar, Electrovire decks, the deck. Um, 
those play off of each other. Same thing with the Nido, Nido Queen, Nido King, and the Nidorinos and Nidorinas. Um, those play off of each other. So um, those are going to be really concentrated in those cards when we're building those decks. Um, and you'll see that as we go through all of our in-depth deck building tutorials. So we're going to slide these up. Let's wait till I do the ghost video. Show you all my ghosties. All right. Um, all kinds of ghosts. All kinds of ghosts that just aren't being played. So we only have... So what do we have up here now? We have 13... 18 Pokemon already just in two evolutions. Um... And since we're not going to have a wide, a large variety of, of different Pokemon to choose from or to draw from, um, we want to go with a couple extra basics. Um, so we are running two pincers. Make sure we're still recording. We good. We got two pincers right here. Um, we chose these. They're obviously different hit points, different attacks. Um, we chose them for the reasons that we did. We'll go more in depth when we go over exactly what each card does. When we get our grass deck building tutorial going, certain trainers that you want to run with certain decks, um, and so on and so forth. Um, so, so on and so, so forth. forth. So we have pincer, we have another pincer, and then um, staying with that same theme, we want a couple extra high level basics, maybe not the highest level, but... Um, their attacks are interesting and they do they could be very powerful um but scythers yeah. we have two scythers going in this deck um both reverse hollow i really like this reverse hollow with the big leaf on it and then the little leaves over to the right i'm gonna catch all that hollow going on that one's cool too but that big leaf just gets me i like that a lot so we have our two pincers our two scythers and that is going to be our 21 Pokemon. So all three, the water, the fire, and the grass deck, all are running 21 Pokemon. We're going to be running 20 energies in everything that we play. Um, so that we have room for 19 trainers, um, which is pretty close to the ratio. We, ratio we always want to be at, a third of each. We have our grass deck here. Um, like we said, there will be changes going into the, the wars, probably going to take out one pincer, one scyther, um, throw in a Snorlax and a Kangaskhan, um, but for the purpose of building a strictly grass deck for you guys and doing this tutorial, we are running all grass Pokemon. Email GoPro. Tell them that they owe us some GoPro 9s and that GoPro 9s better not have the same problems. Oh, guaranteed, 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 guaranteed. They have they the, same, the problem. same exact problems. Okay, now this is not charging at all. Because, oh, what the? I don't know, man. Is there still battery life on that thing? Yeah. No, I've been... Oh, no, because it does that thing. Back to where we were, as we were, as you were, as we were, as he was. We're going to go through a couple of the trainers. Not a couple. We're going to go through a handful of trainers. Um, yeah. More of the common ones. Okay. So check this out. We were talking about it earlier. The rare candy lets you evolve straight from a basic to a stage two. Stage two Pokemon. Um, that's going to be really crucial when you're running that grass deck. Um, grass deck's really the only one that it's crucial to have three of them in. Uh, uh, every other yeah. deck, you could be running one. You could not run a rare, rare candy. It, it could be unnecessary. Well, you'll see like how I run the ghost deck is specifically to not have to run a rare candy. Yeah. Um, running enough ghastlies and haunters that you don't have to run because you're going to have that shit yeah. in your hand. Um, so we got a Rare Candy, Evo Soda. So any um, Pokemon that you have on your bench, um, you can go through your deck and you get to pull out 
a Pokemon that evolves from one of your Pokemon in play and go ahead and um, you can't use it. it. The Pokemon has to have been in play for one turn. So basically it has to be eligible to evolve. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we're running, we could be running an ordinary rod. We you sleep can, on this one, honestly. Yeah, definitely. We, we definitely sleep on this um, card. That's, well, we picked up we picked up quite a few of them because we f knew we were sleeping on them, so we're going to be running those more often because it says choose one or both. That's one of the biggest thing that uh, I know you guys can't see that, but it says choose one or both, shuffle two Pokemon, and or two energies from your discard back into your deck. Um, nice, we're still recording. Um, this would seem to be a, uh, you know, I really like this card. And Scott really likes this card. Like we, card. We both really enjoy it's, playing it's... this card. It could f*** you up pretty hard. Especially with those Gengars. Kill a Gengar and just bring that shit back. Pisses that's, me that's off. That's another reason you run all them Ghastlies and Haunters. Yeah. So you could have your you have a Haunter basically ready to go for when your Gengar dies. Yep. You just rescue Stretcher that back up and you throw that right on your Haunter. Um, but this seemed to be, it doesn't make, well... It does because you can go get an EX GX card hmm. out of your discard. It doesn't restrict you from getting EX yeah. or GX cards. So a lot of the World Championships decks run the Rescue Stretcher. Um, that's that's what's up. Potions. We're running Potions. We're also running uh, Pokemon Center Ladies. One that was a supporter. One's an item. Obviously, the Potion heals less, but you could run a... Pokemon Center Lady and a potion in the same turn, so which will heal your heal your Pokemon ninety damage and a special condition. Or other things like say you don't have energies and your Pokemon's getting beat up and you haven't been able to get that that big attack, run your fisherman. Fisherman or lady energies, run that potion, pull off some damage, yep. and be able to do that big attack. And probably stay alive another turn, or hopefully stay alive another turn. Um, this is a this is a really um, this is a I I run at least three of these. Always three. Always at Always least three. three. Um, sometimes you might run four if you feel like it, but um, yeah, you got to be running three switches. Um, air balloon, air balloon can come in clutch uh, if you don't want to be wasting energies. If you have a Pokemon that's only two energies to retreat. You run an air balloon, now that's that free to retreat. Also wouldn't be wasting one of your switches. Exactly. Or you can run those instead of switches, however you want to yeah. kit that out. Because that's going to be similar to a switch, basically. Yeah. Um, escape rope. Um, it forces your opponent to switch their active Pokemon if they have a Pokemon on their bench. And then it allows you to switch after that. But your opponent has to switch first. So you can strategize yeah, based on what you switch. put in based on what they put in. There's the Pokemon Center Lady that was, we were saying earlier that we're going to be running that. And a potion would be nice. Um, we were talking about the Fisherman. The Fisherman goes and grabs four energies out of your discard pile. Uh, puts clutch that right card, in your hand. Clutch, clutch yeah, card. you want that more towards the end of the game, though. Um, it sucks when you get a lady and a, when you have a lady and a fisherman in your deck, and you get the fisherman in the beginning <laughs> of the, the game the and the lady at the end. So they're basically useless. The uh, fisherman's good though when you you have like those high level basics that take a ton of energy to do their attacks and it gets killed. Yeah, it's you nice to be able to to pull that back. fish those out real yeah. quick. Um, we got the how. Draw three cards. Um, we you can run hops. You can run Tiernos. Let's same see, thing. I think same I have thing. right here. Same thing. Draw three cards. Big dude. I run the Tiernos. Big dude over here running the big dude. Same shit. But you got to have the the house, the house, the hops, and the Tiernos. Whatever you choose. Um, Pokemon fan club. Search your deck for two basic Pokemon. Just go get them. What is it? Nest Ball? You Nest flip? Ball does one. No, oh. Nest Ball's one, but it's an item, so you can run multiple Nest Balls, or you can run a different supporter and Nest Ball. Or um, what is, what's the one where you flip and it's two? There's something. There's one that you flip and it's two. 
Oh, um, no, no, no. That's the timer ball, and that's for evolution Pokemon. Timer ball. But, I mean, at he that point... He used to mess I, with the timer ball, and then... Um, then I flipped a lot of tails. <laughs> and it, it was useless a lot of times. A lot of times, so uh, we just started running supporters of the mole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we run the Pokemon Fan Club. You got the Pokey Kid we were talking about earlier. Just search your deck for a Pokemon. You play that shit, you go get your Pokemon. You don't have to worry about flipping nothing. That's it. Uh, the lady we were talking about, you go get um, four energies from your deck. This one's going to be obviously more effective during the beginning of your gameplay. Fisherman is going to be more um, effective later on in the game. Skyla, this one. Love Skyla. It's almost a waste of a card. Some people could look at this as a waste of a card. Um, not us. I don't know. Not Definitely not me. Definitely, definitely not Scotty. Yeah. We believe in the Skyla. Um cutie right here with the with the uh the hanger with the hanger in the background with the plane the big old fat plane fat fat plane with the shit <laughs> it's a beluga whale a beluga a beluga whale plane i forget what it is but yeah um, so skyla skyla goes up into your up into your deck and pulls out another trainer card so um any trainer card you want supporter item doesn't matter um useless or useful one of the two um obviously well, if you're running useless trainer cards useless if you're running useful trainer cards yeah. definitely useful um it's all on you yeah and the deck you build exactly and then we got the last guy i run him sometimes sometimes i, I don't scotty runs them all the time um i know a couple other people that really enjoy running the professor kukui you know the Professor Kukui. You draw two cards, and during your attack, your uh, or during your turn, during that turn that you play Professor Kukui, your attack does twenty more damage, which is actually really nice with the um, with Scott's favorite deck, Ghost the deck. Ghost deck, because it does a lot of damage to bench Pokemon. So with the Professor Kukui. Um, you get damaged under that. You active. get you get damaged under the active and the bench. Yeah. Um, so that's really, really nice. Um, or sometimes that's the tipping point be between just hitting their Pokemon, and knocking their Pokemon out. Is that yep. twenty? That twenty damage. Um, so that's going to conclude the basic deck building tutorial video. Um, we will, like we said, we're going to go more into detail for each deck that's being built, um, why we're choosing each card that we choose. We will bring out um, the other cards in those types, and we will build the deck again for you guys, in front of you guys, and using the cards that we choose, and why we chose these cards over others. Um, and then always, it's always up to um, change. There's a, you're always going to be able to put your can, your colorless Pokemon in there. You're always going to be able to mix types. Um, but the goal for our tutorials is going to be building decks out of pure types. So be on the lookout for our first Poke Wars coming on. We should have a Poke War coming out pretty soon. Tomorrow. Hey, hey, go get go get on the Instagram official Pokey Wars. I'll put a thing at official Pokey Wars. Wherever the bottom ish of the screen is, yeah, that's, yep, that's right where it's my at. Hands. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll make it like actually do that right With there between his, my hands. Exactly. And I'm holding yeah. it right now, and, and it's gone. close it. Yeah, there we go. We have a daily card being posted on Instagram. Yeah, so we got the Dark Charmeleon, we got the Pikachu, and Sabrina's you want to Sabrina's Gengar in Japanese and Hollow. As we go through the decks, as we do the tutorials, we will add in those decks to the decks that you guys get to choose for us to play with and play against each other with. So we're sharing it. Definitely sharing it. Come on, you guys know what the share button looks like. You guys know what the like button looks like. You guys know what the share button looks like because it's the same as the first share button. Then we need you to comment down below. Even if you didn't comment with something that we asked you to comment down below, the third share. The, yeah, you guys share it third time. Um, same share as the first two. Uh, subscribe, share it, ring the notification bell. 
The notification bell is really important. If you subscribe, but you don't hit the notification bell, then you're not gonna be up to date on all the videos that we drop. Uh, and you will not be um, notified when we go live with our Pokey Wars. So we will start with just posting the videos of our Pokey Wars, and then we will be going live with our Pokey Wars. So you guys wanna be always notified when that happens. Uh, and then one more time, just for the S's and the G's. You know what the S's and the G's are. Comment down below what the S's and the G's are, and then share it. All right, we will see you guys in the next war.